So this is another durian graft we're going to do. Um, this is the top of the durian. It's maybe two years old. It hasn't been grown that fast, but we're going to use a, a budwood or scion wood of a fully grown 20-something year old durian that's been fruiting for a number of years. And I think this is called a cleft graft, so we're going to try to show you guys. Decapitated. I'm going to take this off so it doesn't put energy into that side. And you're cutting that down so that it fits as snugly as possible in the cut you made in the Rootstock. I want it to be pretty straight so I'm not getting air pockets in there. Cutting a lot more than most people would because I'm a little new at this. Alright, let's see if this fits in there. Tight. Now I'm going to put on the grafting tape. It's kind of stretchy. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to comment below what you think I should do to improve my success rate or any ideas on other methods. Or if you've grafted durians yourself, comment below with your experience. So after grafting this, it should fruit in five years, approximately, as opposed to seven to fifteen, right? That's correct. So that's about it. Now I'll put a plastic bag over top of it and keep it moist inside. And we'll see if the graft takes. Awesome.